Hello there, and welcome to Hammerman Defense for today, February the 12th. That's 212 for those of you who haven't noticed. Um, as you can see, things are a little bit different. Alright, no, you probably can't see, uh, because honestly, you, you wouldn't be able to see. So, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this a little bit different. You're going to actually see at the end of this attack, I guess, if anything. Um, where basically I am just running through doing this attack quickly, uh, and hopefully quickly. Oh man, I hope it doesn't go bad. Otherwise, you know. Uh, but I, I've got a plane to catch, so i got to kind of push through here and get things done as quickly as possible. Stage one, as always, pretty easy. Uh, let's be honest, like, if you're at max defenses, you're not going to need any help. If you're a lower level, you're going to have a tough run, because it's just one load. Like, you can't even really split those troops up that easily, so uh, good luck to you. Let's go back in. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got, you know, my prototypes way at the back there. Uh, I didn't even look at this one to see what it was. Obviously, we got riflemen and tanks. Um... But honestly, because it's the first couple, I, I don't think we're really going to have to worry about it. And, oh wow. Oh, all of those riflemen making a heck of a line. Round two is warriors and heavies. Ooh, this could actually get pretty nasty. We got like more riflemen, heavies. The the, the warriors I'm not worried about. They're, they're going to get fried by all of our machine guns and flamethrowers, but... The rest of the stuff coming in, that is a different story altogether. Oh, wow. They're actually doing some work over there on the on the one side. Thank goodness that shock came in. That shock will actually save some defensive lives. I don't know. I, I always think of the turrets kind of as being automated. Like, there's no actual soldiers in there. Like, I, I get the... Well, they kind of all have hatches, but I, I like to think those are maintenance hatches. Like, the Shock Blaster, for example. You, you can't get someone in that Shock Blaster. Even the Rocket Launcher. Like, that's totally remote-controlled or laser can, you know, sense emotion-sensing craziness or something insane. Oh, yeah. A whole bunch of riflemen and some warriors. Ha! <laughs> no problem. So, and, and like the mortar. You, you can't get someone inside the mortar. That's definitely got to be some sort of remote trigger... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little bit uh, under the weather. I got another cold. I don't even understand how I get sick this much. It's ridiculous. I I like to blame it on my job, but hey, whatevs. Um, so, yes, uh, what do we got? A whole bunch of warriors and riflemen, and they're just like kind of running in and suiciding on my on my defense. Oh wow. Oh, those riflemen got torn up really, really well once they got in close. Didn't even use up all the mines. That's I, I like I like defending against the first couple of rounds of Hammerman because I feel like a boss. Like, you know, I'm just sitting there like, yeah, everybody's dead, I don't care, whatever. Uh <coughs> So we've got like three boats of tanks uh, it should be fun it's gonna be three boats of tanks with a bunch of riflemen i'm hoping the riflemen are gonna get chewed up oh wow oh and some warriors okay that's that's all right that'll get rid of some warriors uh which ooh, yeah <coughs> should still be okay excuse me again um oh wow that seemed really quick there it's good though because all this second batch is going left hand side which is great, because all the tanks can go right-hand side. All these warriors that are coming in are just going to get ruined while they're still working on the residences. And then all the riflemen over there, instead of acting as a wall of death in front of the, uh, in front of the tanks, they're just going to get chewed up by our rocket launchers and machine guns and everything, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. It's great, actually. These these tanks are just getting chewed up, and all the heavies are running into these nice, fresh, clean flamethrowers and machine guns, getting wiped out like what? Everything just pouring down the pain. Oh, I love watching that. Anyways, like I was saying, I, I feel like a boss because everything dies so wonderfully, and I'm just like ha ha ha. And then I get to the later levels of Hammerman, and I'm like, oh, jeez, oh, oh, god. 
Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, eh? All right. Uh, well, we're going to have a whole bunch of riflemen, and then at the end, we're going to have a scorcher. Um, wow, dirty. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the, that barrage slash uh, butt whooping I just received there absolutely fried the entire right hand side of my base that was nasty now I'm lucky because this is still stage 5 it's probably not going to be that big of an issue but I feel like when that scorcher and the last bit of the rifleman come out it it's going to get bad man it's going to get really bad because that scorcher is going to fry those machine guns and sniper towers and stuff they got oh Oh, or not. No, 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 not at all. Didn't even take down a flamethrower? WTF. OP defenses. Oh, wait. What are the tribal boosts this week? Maybe I've got, like, some, some bonuses? I, I'm gonna have to check this out. I might actually have some bonuses from tribal boosts. I can't even remember what they were, because, you know, that was a whole week ago, and I can't even remember what happened on my last attack. I think it was, uh, Grenadiers, right? Like... Okay, another stage down, nice and easy. Let's take a look at my defenses here. Oh, I do have a 20% health bonus. Is that all All things? Or, yeah, that's all things. Hold on, hold on, there you go. I got some, I got some tribe boost bonus going on here. Let's roll with it because it's a whole, whole bunch of riflemen coming in again. Obviously, at the end, tail end, I'm gonna have some some tanks, but I'm not too incredibly scared of that. It's the uh, the rifleman horde that really needs to get chewed up here, and I'm hoping. Wow, I, that that feels like so many more. So many more riflemen than I'm used to. Oh, geez, the tanks were in the middle. I was hoping they'd be more towards the tail end of the attack. Urgh. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. They're gonna have a wall. Oh, wow. That wall is getting chewed up really nicely, though. I'm, I'm digging that. All those riflemen are getting cleared right out. The tanks are really far up, so hopefully the boom cannons and the cannons are just going to pick away. Even the sniper towers. And then the, the next boat fortunately went over to the safe side of the beach, where I've got all my machine guns and flamethrowers and stuff lined up. Now it's just a matter of dealing with that last boatload of riflemen, which... Man, that could be a problem. I feel like they must have a medic somewhere. You know, like, there's got to be a medic somewhere because there are just too many riflemen standing. Oh, my goodness. I don't I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this one off. This... Oh, no. Oh, MVP. Yes. Go, Mortar. Get him. Get him. All right. Pop, pop. Oh, I think we're going to do it. Oh, ho, ho. All right, it was tight, but we got there, and getting there is half the battle or something? I don't know. G.I. Jane. Okay, let's go out. Number seven. Oh, there are Grens, but the Grens are at the very end. Okay, let's go in. We're going to try this just default. Uh, I'm hoping that the rifles and Zookas go through first. They're going to, you know, clear up the... At, at the very least, my wall slash machine guns and flamethrowers. And by the time the Grens do actually hit the field, they're going to have to deal with sniper towers and stuff like that. My big fear, obviously, being if they drop into uh, already having an enormous wall of... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, you guys! You're ruining it! All those rocket launchers need to be pouring damage down on this. I'm actually getting hosed by having extra defenses in the back there that I'm not even using. Ah, oh, oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, this this is this is a wipe for sure. Oh man. All right, so we're gonna have to. You know what? I'm just gonna kick off the fast forward. Let this kind of roll through and disappoint. <laughs> Similar to. <laughs> All right. Anyways, um, so all right, I, I you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess around. I'm not gonna try like being goofy and 
doing things. I'm just going to bring in the heavy hitters. Whoops. There we go. And, man, there we are. The sniper, and now that should be good. This sniper can move over here. This is basically how I get through my base. Now, I feel like most of the stuff came mid, so having that should be solid. I'm going to actually throw this guy in here. He can blow up a few extra things. This cannon maybe can go... Jeez... Not a lot of space. I feel like the cannon's going to be kind of useless. Now, also, if I bring this grappler anywhere, it's going to be a pain in my neck. So, I guess I'm going to have to go over to here. There we go. Because if it pulls over, I got a bunch of defenses. Uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'll pull it back a bit more. That way, I've got, you know, my bonus sniper towers. Also, what I should really, really check out is where are my barrages and... Alright, so what, what's going on here? I got a barrage. I feel like that barrage was targeting the boom cannon. So maybe what I'll do is take this boom cannon. I'm just going to, like, throw him out here. He can deal with some of the stuff that's getting pulled in by that grappler and not have to really worry about is no health points assuming it's a male cannon I, I just assume it's a male because of the you know cannonness okay now also that's that rocket launcher getting hit is going to be extra nasty i'm going to actually swap it and then i'm going to pull it out am i still i'm still in the damage boost oh that's going to suck that's going to suck so bad all right i gotta go that's as far back as I can go. If I go back one more square, I am out of the safe spot. Alright, so we're going to be in, give or take, this area. Let's check the replay again. This is this is what I do every week. I go through and I start dissecting things. And this is why I edit my videos so heavily. Because otherwise, you've got replay after replay. Okay, this should be... Oh, jeez. Alright, so that's that sniper tower. That sniper tower is going to have to go as well. Uh, it can go way back here all by itself because it's going to die completely and it's going to do absolutely no good. Alright, let's see what happens. Prepped up the way we are here. Uh, there, Obviously, I, I, I like to go normally through every round, but... You know, this will do for now. Uh, I feel like just having the damage amp in there is really going to help. Like, look at these riflemen. I know they were hitting mines and stuff, but I feel like just having the rock amp a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Also, added bonus, having the, the stuff away from the back... <laughs> my rocket launchers well they kind of distracted it but not near or as long so all of my defenses in the real core here can mess them up uh, get rid of those critters and free up my rocket launcher much faster as you can see this attack is going significantly better oh guys come on take out those riflemen they gotta go oh i didn't pay attention to all those shocks all those shots oh my gosh. Oh, and here come, here come the Grens right behind the wall of riflemen. I think we're good, though. I, I That's a good number of defenses up. We've got the Grappler still going strong. At the very least, start picking off Grens. Um, come on, when, when are you going to start working? Oh, jeez. Oh, that's, that's, that's not cool. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, oh no, there goes the shock launcher. Oh no, there goes the rock. I'm starting to get a little bit worried here. There is not a lot of. And um, the stuff that's left is hurt really badly, like that. Oh yeah, the sniper, come on. Okay, so uh, I experienced catastrophic microphone failure for absolutely no reason, and the last couple of minutes of this video, 
Uh, just, it, it went completely silent. I was talking about MVP Sniper Tower taking out some Grens, and, like, it, it just all went horribly bad. I think it's because my computer doesn't do well with all the stress of doing all of this stuff at the same time instead of breaking it up. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully it's been entertaining. And above all else, have yourselves a fantastic day. Sorry for the technical difficulties.